Ready. Alright, so we got our wood here, the pine beetle tail, and it says to measure it out eight and a quarter inches long. So we measure that out and so we just go measure out eight and a quarter. And then we have to go over and cut it on the miter saw. So we're gonna do that. Stop it. Stop it. So now we're gonna cut this on the miter saw. You wanna make sure your hand's four inches away from the blade. And so you wanna line it up and then cut. Make sure that you cut on the right side of the wood so that the blade doesn't take off too much. So you wanna start. And then make sure the blade stops completely before you pick it up so the other piece of wood doesn't kick out. And, and Alright, so now we're going to measure six and five eighths from the end of the wood to know where we drill. So I'm going to measure six and five eighths inch away. So we did that. And then you have to make sure that it's halfway. So just come over here. Measure it, and that's halfway. And then we have to go. All right, so now we have to cut a 43 degree angle on the wood. So you come over here and you put at 43 degrees, which is right there. And then you lock it down. And then you put your wood up against the fence to make sure it's tight. So that it doesn't <laughs> fly away. And make sure your hand's four inches away so you don't cut yourself. And then you want to line it up to make sure you get a good cut. And then you cut. And make sure the blade stops all the way before you pick it up so your wood doesn't fly away. So, when you're doing this, you put your gel on it, and then you want to make sure that it goes through all the way, so that when you get there, your wood's not like half drilled through. So, you want to come and you want to line it up to where you need to put it in. And when it's lined up, you want to make sure that your hand's four inches away, and then turn it on, wait till it reaches full speed, and then you can drill. Wait till it stops, and then you're done. How to clean off your work stuff. When you're done working on the machines, you need to make sure you clean up your mess and put all the tools away. Back where you put Okay, so when you sand it, you have to sand with um, 240 grit garnet sandpaper. It's really low grade sandpaper. And you have to knock down the edges like this to make them smooth so that nobody likes sharp edges. Yeah. Um, and you just sand this, make it soft, and make sure there's no rough edges anywhere. Okay, so we're just going to put some uh, vegetable oil on this to finish it, and all you do is put some on the rag, and then wipe it on there, really nice, like, like that, and then it brings out the color of the wood, and when you're in here, you need to make sure you're not sanding, because then it'll get on other people's finishing projects.